We say, gang, it's your old buddy Wildcard here, checking in with you. I realize it has been some time since I have posted anything, so I thought I would give everybody an update. Uh, as you may know, if you've been following along, I was diagnosed Jan in January, the end of January, with stage four cancer on my liver and lungs. And while I was in the hospital, that's a new development, <clears throat> they found some more of it on my spine. They were running a different series of tests in the hospital. So the uh, checklist now is a metastatic melanoma on my liver, my lungs, and my spine. Ended up in the hospital in the wonderful month of March. I was hospitalized. I uh, was having some side effects. They had me doing an immunotherapy treatment, which was the type of cancer I have, chemo, therapy and surgery was not an option. So the options were immunotherapy or this targeted therapy, which isn't as effective. So we went with the immunotherapy and I had a uh, rare but known side effect from that. The rapid onset of partial paralysis uh, in my entire body, but it manifests itself in my extremities. My hands and my feet were rendered totally unusable over the course of a few hours one Saturday. I was in pretty bad shape anyway. I was having to use a walker to get around the house, but I went from, you know, being able to stand with the walker to totally incapacitated, couldn't stand, couldn't do anything. My, so my wife called the ambulance and they came and took me to the hospital. I spent just about two weeks in the hospital and then they moved me to a rehab facility where I spent another week trying to learn to walk and feed myself again and all that fun stuff, as you can imagine. But, uh, you know, praise God, my, my extremities, the use of them has come back. I can walk now without the need for a walker or anything. I can't walk very far and I can't walk fast. And, uh, my beard turned white instantly, which, uh, one oncologist told me it was a good sign because it means my immunotherapy was working to the extent that it jump-started my immune system and, uh, you know, it attacked the hair follicles and it also attacked the uh, my nervous system. So I was paralyzed for a little while, which was not fun. That was very scary. But uh, praise God, we are through that. I uh, they They had to suspend any cancer treatment until we got the neuropathy, the numbness, and the inability to use my my appendages, my extremities, until we got that under control, which uh, is as under control as the doctors feel it's going to be. I still have some significant numbness in my feet, a little bit throughout the rest of my body, uh, more areas than others, but you know, my, uh, my, I can use my hands and everything. So they did uh, a CT scan a few days ago to determine what the cancer has done since I was hospitalized. And I'll get the results of that scan today. That's going to determine uh, what we do in terms of treatment or not. If it appears that the cancer is still regressing from the two sessions of immunotherapy that I had, then they may not do any sort of treatment. But if it appears the cancer has gotten worse or is you know, uh, not changed at all, they may do some uh, targeted therapy, they call it, which is the different drugs you take in a pill form. But anyway, I just wanted to give you all an update and, uh, you know, hope that all is well. I'll drop a link for my uh, GoFundMe page. I'm still not able to work uh, with the medicine and the fact that I can't walk or <laughs> use my arms consistently, accurately. It is not safe to be driving a big truck, that's for sure. So I'll, I'll throw a link up to that GoFundMe page if, if the Lord leads anybody in that regard. I sure would appreciate it. And I hope that all of you are doing well, and thanks for coming along on the journey.